They're all over the place, as ubiquitous as always. Campaign signs urging you to vote for a certain candidate. Posting signs isn't a problem as long as they comply with the state election code. A state law says anybody running for a political office who is not the incumbent must include the word for before the office they're running for. As in for Congress, for county clerk, for judge. We surveyed many of the signs posted around Tyler. Most seemed to be in compliance. Then we saw one for Eddie Clark. Uh-oh, looks like he's busted. But wait, upon closer inspection of the sign, we see someone has written in the word for with a marker. I got up Sunday and made all over Smith County and marked all of my signs for. Well, I've still got all my yard signs that I'm working on now, a thousand of those that I've got to go back and change and alter to be in compliance with a law that really nobody knew about until I think this last weekend. But that was not the case with another sign. Jim Worthen is running for a place on the 12th District Court of Appeals. We tried to contact him regarding his sign. He has not returned our calls. This pamphlet published by the Texas Ethics Commission shows an example of the way the signs should look. It's available to every candidate from the county clerk's office.